Makashi Onsen. So many heartbreaks goes back to 2014, and I think that she knows it. And if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it, cause I, I know that you'd want her to. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play Disaster Diaries. I am so excited to bring this to you guys. So this is Ava Lee, an amazing wife and an amazing mom. She's currently cooking dinner for the family. It's almost dinner time. And sadly, she is not being treated very well by her husband. So as you can see, she's kind of going through it emotionally. She's trying to keep it together, but she keeps kind of looking sad. So your girl just wants to eat, but she's like, you know what? I got to call my family to this meal. We all got to eat together Papa. through the hard times no. and all. So you guys saw the machinima in the beginning and and obviously I'm gonna explain some things you know sometimes I feel like there's some things that need context so there's a lot going on here there's a lot of drama and you know I feel like Avalie is literally the last sim that deserves this she just is amazing I can't even think of anything you know wrong with her like she's literally the perfect sim I love her so much but then we have Huxton so this is her husband and as you guys saw from the machinima he is is not being the most loyal sim. He's not treating his wife the way he should. Actually, it's even more than just the girl in the machinima, which I will introduce you guys. Then we have their teen daughter, Araya. I fell in love with her name, oh my goodness, and she is going through a lot right now. Another thing I wanted to include in the beginning is, you know, things she's going through. She has gotten into things she shouldn't be getting into. She's smoking weed. She is just rebelling and and, you know, it's become something that she, you know, she's trying to hide from her parents, but they can kind of tell something's up. But one thing is she saw 
them arguing and it broke her heart. She heard some things they were saying and so she kind of knows what is going on. And then we have little Jariah. He's over here washing the dishes. I don't know why he came all the way over here, but he did. And before we get into Jariah, it looks like Araya is actually over here and I feel like she comes over here a lot to smoke some weed. She kind of gets away with it here. So we're going to go ahead and have her roll a joint and she's going to smoke. So this is definitely something hopefully she will get out of but right now it's like how she's coping to be honest so she's gonna smoke and her and her brother have actually been like getting along really well and she's trying to make sure that her brother doesn't find out about what is going on with her parents so or their parents so Jariah has no idea he's innocent he is super young he just recently aged up to a child he doesn't even have any friends yet so that's something we're gonna be working on whereas Araya does have friends so I'll introduce you guys to them shortly Jiraiya just really has no idea what's happening and I think that's a good thing. I think he will kind of catch on. Oh, are they about to be? Oh, okay. I thought they were going to be romantic. So something about them is there's a lot of tension going on. They just naturally, ooh, start practicing your hiding. Okay. They just naturally like try to flirt with each other again and again and you know, they love each other, but it's, it's so hard. So Avely is actually very sensitive. So right now she's feeling overwhelmed from being sensitive. I need to show you guys their traits all their outfits all of that fun stuff we'll go into that in just a second right now it seems like they're trying to talk things out so let's get into the juicy stuff obviously you guys saw in the intro he has been cheating with esme this is actually their neighbor so they live in this kind of like neighborhood type of thing it's honestly really cool i'm gonna pop up the creator for this on the screen right here please go check out this build i was like blown away i tried to look at so many different ones and I just kept going back to this one it just oh my goodness it had my heart literally stunning so obviously this is like the community pool there's swing sets like everything and then there's three different units so this is one this one and then their unit so this is where Esme lives Esme completely knows obviously that Huxton is married, knows the kids and everything, literally their neighbor. So I don't know what she was thinking because she's actually a very tender sim. I do have a lot of custom traits right now. It's the 100 traits mod. If you type in Google Sims 4 100 traits, you'll find it. But yeah, so she's tender. She's open-minded, but she's also salty and romantic and she's appealing. So she kind of like builds romance with Sims faster and she looks more attractive. So she's literally gorgeous. She's like the girl that everyone wants to look like, you know, she is in the social media career. She's interested in men and women. And you can see here, they have a lot of things going on. Although they hooked up. And if you saw the intro, she's actually, she's pregnant, you guys. She's pregnant and it's a little baby girl. She went and got her ultrasound and she wanted the gender. By the way, in the intro, she's in the first trimester and her bump is showing. I had to do that so that I could get her the ultrasound. It wouldn't let me otherwise, but I did change it to not showing. And Huxton has no idea she's pregnant. So yeah, like she's pretty early enough where she can find out the gender, but she's not showing. She's literally set up her place with the nursery and everything. And Huxton has no idea. And she has no idea how to tell him. So there's a lot going on here. Basically, Esme went over to Huxton the other day. This was not in the intro, but when I was playing, it happened. She straight up asked Huxton if he will marry her. And I don't know what she's thinking. I think her emotions are all over the place. She's pregnant. She's panicking. Like, she's like, oh my God, I hooked up with this guy. He's married. Like, I'm going to have his baby. Like, what's going to happen here? You know, like you can imagine. So that's why they have this one here. I think dejected about rejection. And then there's also this one because Esme also asked if he'll move in. So she's been asking questions that are just like, very inappropriate like she's doing it on her own like when i'm not playing with her household so there's a lot going on here they need space not close enough so yeah a lot of drama has went on since the woohoo so that's happening but then i don't know what has been going on with huxton but you can also see this is one of their friends 
Like, Ava Lee's also friends with Marley. And at one point, he just suddenly flirted with her. Out of my control. Didn't make it happen. So we have that going on. Like, he's just not a very loyal guy. And it's challenging. So you can see their relationship, him and Ava Lee, is really on the rocks. Like, it's almost like they are no longer together. But they are. They haven't broken up. And right now, I feel like the only reason Ava Lee is staying around is for the kids. And that can be really toxic. But she's amazing, you guys. She's loyal, sensitive, generous. She is neurotic. That's her only downfall. She gets a lot of mood swings. So these sins show extremely higher sensitivity towards sadness, anger, and stress. That is her downside, but you know what? I feel like there can be a lot of pros to this too. She just feels things really deeply and you know, and it wasn't really an issue in their relationship ever. And he still did this to her. She's family oriented. And then this jealous trait actually came after. So when Huxton started cheating, the little pop-up came up for her to get the jealous trait. So yeah, this was added in game. And then Ava is actually a doctor. I've been like super into Grey's Anatomy and I just had to give someone the doctor career. So she's currently, I believe, like a higher up nurse, I believe. See, and you can see here Huxton cheated on Ava Lee. Like, oh, it breaks my heart, but they are still soulmates, but I don't know. They have the deeply connected and then saddened. So yeah, there's a lot going on here. Then we have Araya and she has some friends from school. You can see, of course, you guys will probably meet them. We'll follow her to school one day and then you guys can kind of meet these Sims. But actually, this dude is their other next door neighbor and he's a drug dealer and this is where she gets her weed and she just kind of, you know, quietly goes over here and it looks like it's nothing. She's just like talking to her neighbors and really she is getting weed. So yeah, there's that. So oh, they're spending family time. See, they're trying, but yeah, she's super close with this guy named Noah. This is also the next door neighbor that lives with um, Alexander and then this is their child. So yeah, this is who I want Jariah to become friends with. I want this to be his first friend. So we're going to see if that can happen. But yeah, she's also friends with Hannah at school. All of these are her classmates. So then there's Savannah. So randomly, Araya got some feelings for Savannah. Oh, sure. So I don't know what this means, but what? What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. The trait thing. So yeah, I don't know what this means for her. I don't know what her sexuality is. I guess right now she's just exploring. So yeah, she just kind of has a little crush on her friend here. And you can see she's actually pretty close with Esme. I don't even know how this happened. And I feel like once, I don't know. I think when she sees Esme again, because she kind of knows what's going on, I think she's going to literally like tell her off. So yeah, that's just <laughs> the teen in the household. She doesn't take shit. So anyways, like I said, there's not much going on with the little one here because he just recently aged up, but we are going to have him head over to the neighbor's house and meet the little girl here. So we're going to go ahead and actually we can invite to hang out. So we're going to invite to hang out April. I feel like that pretty much covers everything. Like there's definitely more going on here and we will go ahead and also have him go over to Esme's house and just kind of like check in on her because things have been complicated. All right, so here she is. Hi. Aw, so cute. So it is late, so we're not going to be able to talk long, but yeah, isn't she so cute? I just feel like they could be the bestest of friends. Like, I'm so glad a kid lives here. I think that's a good thing. Aw, she, mom's coming over to check on them. Cause, you know, it's getting dark out. That's cute. Okay, they're still meeting each other and I'm just like trying to do more and more. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I really want to try to actually like get into storytelling in this first episode. I feel like that can definitely be hard for part ones, especially when the story is this big. So I actually, I seriously love that she's over here because it feels like she actually wants to watch her child because it's dark. So I like that. Um, so Araya is just over here in the quiet little like reading nook. I love this here. Oh, by the way, like little tour of the house, you know, you guys can kind of see though. Obviously I didn't build this. I showed you guys the creator, but I freaking love it. It's gorgeous. Like I feel like anyone would love this. And I did change a few things, but like barely, to be honest, I feel like it was perfect the way it was. I changed a little bit also in Esme's um, unit, but again, not much. I changed the colors of Araya's bedroom, but Araya can't really go full out with her bedroom like she wants to because she actually shares her room with her brother, which kind of drives her crazy sometimes, but she deals with it. So yeah, there's that situation happening. Oh, by the way, Huxton is a professional bodybuilder. He's doing amazing in his career. He's level six. He, his next promotion is going to be the champion bodybuilder. He makes quite a bit of money. And then like I already told you guys, she is a nurse, like the higher up nurse. So we may follow her to work every now and then. She makes a lot of money a date as well. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's kind of what's going on there. And then as for traits, he doesn't have much, much mixology level four of parenting. He has like, I don't know even know how he got like one of all of these. I didn't even like cheat this or anything, but he's level nine of fitness. And then level nine charisma, he has level five cooking. He's maxed out the woohoo skill and level six of uh, video gaming. And then Ava Lee has level four comedy. I'm just going over the ones that like I was actually focusing on because like I don't even know how they got all these. It's just like level one of everything. And <laughs> level two fitness, level five charisma. She's maxed out the cooking skill, which is insane. She has level eight parenting. So yeah, and then level three of woohoo. And then as for Araya, she has level four fitness. She is getting into fitness like her father that interests her level five comedy for charisma four cooking three baking four rolling which is literally like weed like the rolling skill <laughs> rolling papers and then she has level two woohoo because she has actually woohoo and this is going to be kind of like another thing with the story i feel like they need to have the woohoo talk with her and then as for jiraiya he has level one creativity level two motor level four social he has level four video gaming and then somehow level four of charisma all right so i'm gonna actually have her call one of her friends um we're gonna call noah this is like like her bestie like she like ride or die nothing romantic going on there like no interest at all just yeah you'll see him a lot we're gonna actually have him since you know his wife's not around we're gonna have him chat with esme and be like hey like i'm sorry like we left off on a really wrong direction like can i come over are you hello no you're gonna you're gonna chat we're gonna call her okay so he's calling her and oh she came over i love that so they're in the house now together and ooh, oh oh it looks like she's coming over here and jiraiya is gonna go chat with her so this is esme literally stunning but you know she's kind of being a little bit of a hoe since she knows that he's married and i'm sorry but ava lee is superior <laughs> so i don't know why she's down here but there is a laundry room down here like this is like the shared space for like the little community as well as this this is not a part of their apartment this is like like a coffee little area you know and then there is a gym so this is like for everyone as well this is where huxton is like always working out so it is late i might go ahead and have everyone just get to bed and then we can resume with the drama in the morning so the idea behind this lp being called disaster diaries is it's kind of like a look into their disaster diary a look into their life like that no one else sees from the outside like their little diary so that's where the inspiration came from where's your shoes i have no clue like there's definitely I definitely put shoes on him for this outfit, so that's kind of hilarious. I mean, that would hurt, right? Oh, I guess he drank some tea. So he's feeling amazing. Like, honestly, he's pretty, like, he's being pretty selfish lately. She's feeling, ooh, near and embarrassed him from being sensitive. Oh. Oh my god. Absolutely the fuck not. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Look, there's the drama mod, and we're gonna go ahead and call her a simpsh. Yep, go do that. Go do that. Because she, if you guys spotted in the little intro, she actually originally saw Huxton being a little too nice to her and like a little flirty at the pool. She was literally right there. And like, you know, he thought she wouldn't notice, but she did. So then she kind of, that's when she knew like something was up. However, she doesn't know that he literally went and slept with her. So yeah, she doesn't know about that. Um, sure, you can like fitness. So that's where things get really messy. Like he has not admitted that to her yet. And she's pregnant. She's just not showing yet. Oh, the other thing. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys caught it, but like, I don't know how, okay, basically I haven't edited the intro yet when I'm filming this. So I may have made it pretty obvious afterwards the way I edit the intro. I'm not sure. You guys will obviously have already seen, but she's a doctor, right? So she went to get her ultrasound and she was the doctor that showed up like i didn't do that that happened <laughs> like on its own and then so she knows she's pregnant this is this is the fucked up part she knows but she has no idea that she's pregnant with her husband's baby so there's that it's right in front of her face avely knows that esme is pregnant but she thinks she's pregnant by someone else so there's that yeah <laughs>
I don't know how where that's gonna go. There's also like a little hot tub up here. Is this where the hot tub? Oh no, wait, the hot tub's over here. I don't know what where she's trying to go right now, to be honest. Okay, I guess she just wanted to climb up that way. I mean, that's one way to get into your house. <laughs> she's going to sleep for the night. So like I said, it's late. I'm just gonna put everyone to bed. Okay, so I thought we'd go in cast while they're just sleeping. First and foremost, I just want to point out that I literally just had to fix some stuff with Abelie's and also Araya's appearance because I was like, what? Why do they look different? Something about their face, both of their faces looked different than when I originally created them. And I mentioned that I had done some stuff on my other PC. So I made them on my other PC and I have the same mods folder on both, but I think I had downloaded like a few more things on my other PC, like presets and stuff and like shoes, I guess. <laughs> so that's why he had no shoes on, on the treadmill. That explains it. And then I was like, why is certain features of her face and her body like completely different? So I basically just looked at some screenshots that I have of the Sims, basically just replicated it. So now they look how they should have looked. It was mostly just the lips and well, actually her whole face was kind of like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened, but I definitely have presets over there that I do not have here, but I kind of just found like the best match and just adjusted it based off the screenshots I have of them. So no worries. They look how they should now. We're all good. So of course, this is Huxton. He's outgoing. He's impulsive, determined, romantic, and active. I don't know if one of these traits make him walk like he's angry all the time. I have no idea. His walk style set to normal, but he's always walking like he's angry, even when he's not angry. But you know what? I was like, it goes with Huxton. He always just wants to be an angry piece of shit for whatever reason. So of course he has the bodybuilder and here's his everyday. Here is his formal. Then we have athletic sleepwear, party wear, we have swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, so here is what he looks like up close. I'm pretty sure everything transferred over just fine with both male sims, but I'm paranoid now, so I will be checking. I will be taking screenshots of them and comparing it like to the computer that I actually created them on and just making sure. I don't know if any presets messed up with that either. Have any of you guys had this problem where you like transfer sims and you're using like custom presets and they look a little different? I think he looks the same, but I need to double check. So if, the, if he looks even just slightly different by the next episode, it's just because I made his face look how it showed up. But this is pretty, this, th this is what he looked like. So I think we're good there. So there's Huxton. Then we have Ava Lee. I freaking love her to pieces. I just love, love, love her. She is everything. And she has a super parent and then she's loyal. She's generous. She is sensitive. She's neurotic and then family oriented, which you guys already knew because I kind of went over that. Okay. So this is what she looks like, but I just love her so freaking much. I think she is gorgeous. And then yeah, here's her everyday wear. Then we have her formal look at her. Are you kidding me? Like, hello. She's like an actual queen. Then we have her athletic wear and then sleep wear. We have her party wear, her swim wear. Then we have her hot weather and then we have her cold weather. So then we have little Jiraiya. So he is hyper, he's adventurous, and he's cool. And then he has the playtime captain aspiration. So here's what he looks like. He looks like the perfect mix, I feel like, of both of them. This is his everyday. Then we have the formal. We have athletic. We have sleep. We have party wear. And then we have sleep, uh, swim wear, hot weather, and cold weather. So then last but not least, we have Araya, and she is also cool. She is thrill seeking. She is short tempered and she's unstable. This may be something that, you know, is a trait that kind of goes away over time. But right now, her emotions are just very unstable because of everything going on with her parents. And then she has the live fast aspiration. So here's what she looks like up close. She is freaking stunning. She loves to have fun with her eyeliner and I don't know, she's just an icon. She definitely is all about style. She loves making a statement. So here is her every day. And then we have her formal wear. She hates heels. So this is what she has chosen to go with and honestly kind of works. And then we have her athletic wear and we have her sleep wear, then party wear. She is just obsessed with these style of pants. And then we have her swimwear and then hot weather and her cold weather. I love the hat. Like I'm obsessed with this hat. So anyways, okay. So it's the morning. And of course, as usual, Avalie is the first one awake and she wants to eat this fruitcake, but girl, I don't think that's going to make you feel the greatest. And she actually has to go to work. So we're not going to join her today, but we will be joining her from time to time. So we're just going to send her alone. And yeah, 
she goes super early, 7 a.m. on the dot. And it looks like Huxton is also on his way to work. So yeah, they both go to work super duper early. And you can see she's in her little nurse uniform, not them going down the ladder to get out faster. Like they can just come out here. And then this is what he wears to work. So yeah, they're off to work. Honestly, the fact that they go at the same time is kind of, you know, relieving to Avalie because she's been super worried. Like, look how sad she is. And she feels like, you know, if they're at work at the same time, maybe, you know, he won't cheat on me. Yeah, it's kind of come to that point. So Araya is also awake now and everyone wants to grab this fruitcake, but we're not going to let them. So I'm going to clean this up. We're going to throw this away. And you know, she really wants to knock on Esme's door and be like, what are you doing with my dad? You're going to ruin everything. Oh my God, Jiraiya has a loose tooth. He should expect to lose it soon. That's actually so exciting. So loose tooth. Jiraiya woke up with a loose tooth. It's only a matter of time until it's an X tooth. Oh, okay. So yeah, everyone's hungry, but um, I'm not going to have you eat butter chicken. I'm going to actually have Araya make some breakfast. We're going to have her serve breakfast, just something simple where she won't burn the house down. So, uh, well, I feel like she could do some eggs and toast or maybe she'd want to make pancakes. Like to be honest, I need to set the sinks because clearly, oh no, wait, she's just trying to clean up everything. Okay. You, you go girl. She's trying to keep her community clean. <laughs> this fire has been on for a really long time. So that kind of makes me nervous, but we're going to have him warm himself. Himself. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have her make pancakes instead. That just, I don't know. I feel like she, the parents aren't here. She'd want to make some pancakes. So on the weekends, they usually get the mornings to themselves, um, because you know, they, they work. No, thank you. So yeah, she works Saturdays, but not Sundays. And then he works the whole weekend. Yeah. It kind of sucks because that's when the kids are off school, but you know, it is what it is. Ooh, tooth full of pain. Araya has a minor toothache. Maybe some medication will help with the pain. Otherwise it should go away on its own. So we're probably gonna be heading to the dentist soon then. Aww. So yeah, like I said, they have been like super close lately and she's just trying to, you know, keep her brother close. You know, she really doesn't want her brother to find out, but she feels like it's only a matter of time. Comment down below if you guys think they're gonna work it out or if you guys think they're gonna break up. So like, keep in mind, like there's a baby coming and I don't know when Esme is gonna tell Huxton that. I don't know like when that's gonna be revealed. I definitely might be switching over to Esme's household and kind of have that play out so that she can actually specifically tell him that she's pregnant and it's a girl. The pancakes are ready. They're gonna go ahead and eat together, grab a serving. Oh my gosh, I have like this like food overrides. And that looks so much better. I have the food overrides by Apricot Rush, if you guys are ever wondering. And it just looks so much better. I find it so funny that you have a loose tooth and then you have an achy mouth. So like they're both dealing with tooth stuff. They do have an empty room here. And so it's just been like a spare room that has never needed to be used. And there's a baby coming. So I don't know, like the baby's gonna be staying with Esme, but I don't know if like if they do stay together, like them two, if this will kind of be turned into a baby's room and the baby will come over like on the weekends. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen there. Honestly, time will tell, like I said. So anyways, she needs a shower. So we're going to have her take a shower and then I think she's going to head over to see Esme. What we could even do is have um, Jiraiya knock on his friend's door and, you know, they can just get to know each other more. So, you know, then he's just like right there. Oh, the property owner is here for a visit. I mean, not the greatest time because like the kids are just here, <laughs> but yeah, we're not even going to worry about that. I'm going to get you into your everyday work. Oh my God, you guys, how dare I almost forget the notification shadow. Of course, this has been hectic. So much going on for first episodes. It just like totally went over my head, but this one goes to Leva Brie. Thank you so freaking much. This comment made my day. I don't know if you're watching this video, but either way, I seriously appreciate it so much that you've been watching me since 2016 and I've been your favorite simmer since then. Like what? I can't get over it if any of you guys tell me I'm your favorite simmer because I'm just like, I, I don't believe it. Thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So I think her front door is actually here. Why can't we knock on the door? Kind of weird, but honestly, we don't even really want to go in anyways. Oh, she could just walk in. Okay. So we just want to yell at her a little bit. So we're going to do a petty job and we're going to also go to mean and we're going to go to arguments and we're going to yell at her because yeah, they have a, oh, she's very sad right now. That makes me feel bad. But honestly, that's not her problem. 
she is fucking with their parents or her parents marriage so she's not about it is she showing now a little bit oh my goodness oh okay like that's happening quickly i don't think anything with her appearance got messed up but again like if anything did i will be sure to fix that up by the next episode i'll obviously just compare it to my other pc like i said they they pretty much looked the same it's just some of the features just got like wonky i guess but we're gonna yell at her one more time and then we're just gonna leave like honestly she's just gonna insult her i feel like she just really does not like her their relationship is definitely going down so actually you know what yell at her one more time and you know what i feel like she kind of has like a little bit of a feeling that this is her dad's baby like she clearly notices that she's pregnant and she's like no fucking way like there's no way right now like this is not happening obviously she doesn't have proof but that's what she kind of feels like is going on here so we're gonna go ahead and leave oh it looks like jariah's new little friend actually came over that's so cute but you guys i am gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here there's definitely gonna be a lot going on i hope you guys are excited araya does not look happy and i mean who would like what teenager would be when this is going on but you guys i hope you all enjoyed episode one look forward to episode two coming shortly and with that said i hope you all are having an amazing day and i will see you all in my next video bye guys In the streets and the cities I'm